Welcome back guys, thanks for joining me for another beer review, hope you're all well, as you can see I've had my ears moved. Uh, right, beer we are looking at is, uh, if you've seen the video I put up, the unboxing of eight out of date beers, uh, before this goes up, or before this is up, before, there'll be a video explaining all the out of date beer stuff, but basically, it turns out, this is the only out of date beer that was in the box. Uh, and I've been refunded for it. Uh, so the one we are looking at is a collaboration. Uh, it's from Brava Stu Mostel and Falcon Brew. It's uh, Brava Stu Mostel's 8th Anniversary Imperial Pastry Sour. It's cherry, strawberry, plum, maple syrup, chocolate and vanilla. It's in a 440ml can. It's coming in at 7%. It's a few days over three months out of date. So let's just say it's three months out of date past its best. Uh, coming in at 7%, beautiful artwork. Got this from Trembling Madness. Uh, it has been sorted though, and they have given me a full refund, uh, but it would cost you a six pound 10 pence. Lovely artwork. Uh, Brava Stu Mostel are out of Poland and Folk and Brew are out of Holland. Uh, Dutch brewery. I don't know if I said that. Did I say that before? I don't know. Anyway, it's well chilled. So, I'm going to bag it in that. Let's get her open. Is it going to do one on me and go, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Nope, it's behaved itself. So, let's see what we get. I know it's past its best and it's three months past its best. Hopefully it should be fine. It looks absolutely fantastic, to be honest. I'm gonna leave that little bit in there. It may well change, but wow, that looks thick, dense. Look at the color of that. That is absolutely beautiful. Uh, there's a few, few bubbles of carbonation going up the side of the glass. We got about a finger of fluffy sort of pink head. It looks amazing. To be honest, that looks absolutely amazing. I've got a cat lingering around me. What are you trying to do, cat? Gonna be a pain in the ass here. What are you doing? It's having a funny turn. Anyway, the beer looks amazing. So uh, let's dive in with the nose and see what we get. Look at that, even swirling that. That looks really good. What are you doing, cat? Are you coming up on the table? Yeah. You just want to be a pain in the backside, don't you? There we go. Well, it might actually get on with this review. Get out me beer. No, you want, oh, for flip's sake. You did my bloody head in, cat. Sorry about this. <laughs> cat that wants to be nosy. Right, on the nose. Chocolate. I've got to look at everything because there's so many things on it. Definitely get the cherry, chocolate. Maple syrup. Maybe the vanilla. I'm not going to say you really pick up the strawberry or plum. Maybe the plum, but but I wouldn't say you really pick the strawberry up, I think, on the nose. Fruit-wise, it's all cherry and plum. You do get the maple syrup, chocolate and vanilla. It smells absolutely amazing. Let's get her in there. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> right, let's dive in. Eighth anniversary or Imperial Pastry Sour. 7%, cheers. Ew. Blimey. That's got a sour kick to it. What are you doing, cat? Nuts. Uh, right. Ew. Jesus. That is tart. Right, in the mouth. It's a weird one because it looks heavy. Uh, 
and it is heavy does have a decent body but still sort of drinks quite light Ooh. it's got proper tart sour carbonation in there very sort of fizzy almost it's small small bubbles I want to say it's almost like pop fizzy but it, it's not quite as vicious as that maybe it's because it's the small bubbles it certainly doesn't feel that sort of bad but the fizz is there and it certainly gets the sourness going round in your mouth extremely smooth really smooth nice mouth nice mouth feel despite that carbonation but that's what you've got to expect with this style on the taste for me on the taste now I'm getting used to that soundness it is still there Initially, I was thinking it's all cherry because I was being hit with that sourness. For me, I think you're sort of greeted, certainly what I'm picking up, you're greeted with a strawberry note. That sort of light fruity note that sort of pulls you in to a full sense of well-being. I don't know, that's the wrong word, I think. And then behind that, the cherry comes in and that's where you're hit with the sourness a big hit of cherry I think just behind that you get maybe that dark rich feel to a certain extent of uh, the plum I think it's all fruit at the start behind that is where the maple the chocolate and the vanilla come in for me Maple now, vanilla, and the chocolate all sort of come in just as that fruitiness dies off. It's not sweet. You might expect it to have quite a sweet hit. But it's not. Oh. Yeah, maple there. Chocolate. But it is almost, it is almost like all the flavors, all the flavors on that can, you sort of pick up in order. In order, for me, I think you get the strawberry at the start. That is about the sweetest part you get uh, in this beer, really. And I think it's just, it just lures you in. You think, ooh, this is nice. This is sweet, and then whack. All right, smack in the chops with that cherry sourness. And then a richness of plum, maple syrup, chocolate. And the vanilla comes in on the back end. Certainly got a bit of gas. Seven percent. Certainly isn't there in ABV taste, if you like, in alcohol taste. But you know it's that little bit stronger. Somehow you just feel it's it's that much uh that slightly bigger a slightly bigger beer if you like uh waffling shit now I'm like <laughs> slightly bigger beer but uh yeah i mean as sours go this certainly does the job and there is like that you know they say pastry sour i don't know somehow they 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 obviously there's not pastry in it we know that there's not pastry in it but somehow some of these pastry sours really seem to have they seem to get a pastry doughy sort of feel in the body and, and this is another one of them so uh yeah for me Bravas du Mostel and Falken Brew and Falken Brew out of the Netherlands Stu, Bros uh, Stu Mostel out of Poland. 
Their eighth anniversary Imperial Pastry Sour is a good one. It certainly does what it says on the can. Uh, I do think I would actually prefer it though, if I'm honest, without the maple syrup, chocolate, vanilla side of it. I think it is just full on fruit and sour. I think that would personally suit me a bit more, I think. Uh, but it's a decent brew. And to be honest, can I tell if it's out of date really? I don't really know unless you've got another one to try it against. But there certainly isn't anything wrong with this one. So three months past its best. Still all right. Would I recommend it if you like your sours and you like your pastry sours? And give it a go. Yeah, it's not cheap. Maybe try your luck with Trembling Madness. All the one or order some and uh, tell them it's out of date when it turns up and you might get it for free like I have. So there we go. They're my thoughts on it. If you happen to have had this beer before, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment. Thank you all for watching. Apologies for the cat. Apologies for me and apologies just, well, I'm just sorry. So see you on another one. Cheers. <laughs>